Hey guys and gals, welcome back. Now, these videos are gonna be quite a bit different because I'm gonna dive into welding, stainless steel, mild steel, aluminum, all that stuff. But this was my very, very first time welding stainless steel at this capacity, and I was terrified. I'm not even gonna lie. I didn't wanna mess anything up, but I got to doing it, and this is the outcome. Now, while it's not perfect, I am gonna run it and see what happens. On the next one, though, I am gonna join all these pieces together and hopefully to a flange. And what this is going to is this right here. Older 18G Grady Turbo with the manifold. Now, if you know about these turbos and the manifold, you know they don't make a gob of power, but that's really not what I'm after. I just want something fun, something that I can enjoy, and that's pretty much it. Let me show you guys how I did with this, and well, let me show you. So I have some tape holding up some pie cuts. I was trying to get some tacks going, going around, but didn't really work out all that great. Rather low amperage and rather high hopes that I had. So I used a little bit of tape and I upped the amperage a bit afterwards and this is what I got. So it was considerably better and that was my very first attempt there. <laughs> hey, I'm not ashamed, it's all learning. So I won't be doing that again. And just a little curiosity with that little gap that I have there at the bottom. Now, I did, like I said, I did up the amperage quite a bit just so I didn't have to spend too much time there just cooking the metal. And here I added several more tack welds all around and a little mishap with not having a properly grounded part to a table. And that right there was my very first attempt at just feeding the filler rod. I was trying to get very consistent motion with it and I don't know how he did. I mean, like I said, it's all practice. So I took one of the caps off and wanted to see if I was using enough amperage and if I was getting any penetration through um, the other side and if everything was flowing as I wanted it to with uh, the argon backing. And so this is all progress and things can only get better, I hope. I'm trying to get a, uh, more of a consistent motion with feeding the filler rod and just trying to move along uh, around the piece not welding just one side and trying to move around, trying to get other areas welded up so they don't, like, so, so it doesn't shift and you know, just try to get some type of consistency going and just not stay in too long and you know, cook all the metal. So this process was probably several days because I'm in Arizona and it was really hot in the garage just trying to get everything welded up, just being under the helmet and all that stuff. But hey, in video format, it's only what, several minutes? As far as the stuff that I'm using, Wellmonger TIG gloves are right here. Really good gloves, I recommend those to everyone. TIG torch, I'm using a 17, it's what came with the welder. A CK Worldwide FUPA 12 cup running 30 CFH. Can't forget the TIG finger, and as far as tungsten, 2% lanthanated. Uh, the helmet that I have here, just a Miller helmet. I don't think you can go wrong with Miller products. I didn't want to go with something uh, that I felt was inferior to this or just something, you know, priced way up there. So this is a really good helmet. I really like it. I really enjoy it a lot. As far as the tick gloves go, they're sized a little, a little different. If you wear a large, like in Tillman, I would suggest getting a medium for these gloves. That's what I have to do. Primewell 225, I'm not gonna go over the settings. Too many suggestions out there as far as settings. So kind of do some research and see, you know, play with it. Spark dual flow regulator, gotta have that for bag purging. And one of these signs to remind yourself not to blow yourself up. And if you happen to catch yourself on fire or something else, fire extinguisher, very, very important. All three of these things are very important. And more welding. You can see right here that I have kind of made some headway with uniformity a bit and with just uh, feeding the filler rod, just trying to get the hang of feeding the rod, and it's still really hot. That's why I'm holding it with the tig finger. But I still have a little ways to go, and I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm really, really uh, satisfied with how things are working out. I know in some areas, I think it's looking kind of cold, but I, I'm just gonna have to get on the pedal just a little bit more there. I couldn't get comfortable with position on these welds, and I think you can tell. And right under there is where I had one of the gaps that you saw earlier, just trying to fill everything in. I think overall things are looking 
pretty good. So I just finished welding all of this up and it's still really hot to the touch. I'm just trying to get it maneuvered a little bit and get the purge line out. But I'm gonna say that I was pretty, uh, pretty happy with the results of this. Again, being my very, very first time uh, welding stainless steel, I know there are things I could have done probably a lot better than what I initially did. Here on the inside, you can see that there is quite a bit of penetration going throughout and there isn't any sugaring because I was back purging uh, while I was welding the whole time. I think at the beginning there were some spots that, I mean, it's just like a little tack weld that didn't have any um, gas backing, but overall, pretty good. There are some spots throughout that need just a little bit more, uh, I probably need to go over them a little bit just so I can get that penetration going throughout. But I am gonna end up using this piece. I was kind of on the fence about using it, but I'm gonna run it. And I'm also gonna get another set of pie cuts so I can weld those up again and you know if this cracks or whatever then i can just make another one and replace it or just fix what i have overall pretty happy with the results and like i said my very very first time welding stainless steel at this capacity and i gotta say i am very eager to do it again and definitely share it with you guys with some actual footage of me welding this if you guys are doing this for your first time as well, I would say just go for it. Just get in there. You're gonna make mistakes, which is completely okay. But hey, that's part of the learning process. The reason for the flattened pie cut at the bottom is because this flange has a mounting hole that is far too close to the actual tube. So to remedy that, I flattened it out a little bit. Hopefully that works. I didn't want to go with something smaller in diameter. I wanted it to be two and a half all throughout. So I did have to flatten that a bit. We'll see how it works out. All right, so that's gonna do it for this video. On the next one, I'm gonna finish welding this right here or continue welding this and hopefully to a flange, build a purge block for it as well and dive into the intercooler and the charge pipes. All right guys, so until next time. Hey, if you haven't subscribed, turbo content. Who doesn't like it? Comment, like, let me know what you think about this. All right, until next time.